Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if a program file will not open up when you try and open it on your Windows computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up a web browser and just go ahead and paste in a link I'm going to have in the description of the video, guys. So it's going to be a free utility here and it's a file extension fixer. It's a free tool intended to fix executable file associations and run programs even when those extensions are damaged. So you can see those supported file extensions extend beyond just exe files. You have VBS, BAD, REG, MSI files, for example. Go ahead and just select the download exe fixer.exe. However, if you're unable to actually run that, you can just download the exe fixer.com here. And then once it's done downloading, go ahead and just open up the file to run it and then select yes. Now you can close out of the web browser at this point. So if there's a specific file or executable you're having a problem with here, you can select the browse button and then attempt to locate the executable file and then attempt to select it and then select open. And then you would select the run slash open button. And then hopefully at that point it should be able to resolve the issue you're having with that particular file. You can also repair file association, so if you want to select the extension, for example, you can just select exe and then select the fix selected button, and it should repair the registry here. So you can see 23 registry entries successfully fixed, and you can click on the drop down here. Again, they do other file extensions here like VBS, batch files, registry files, MSI, command, and com files, so you got a whole bunch of options here. And you also have additional system repair utilities here, which is a nice little add-on. So if you want to open up MS Config or Task Manager, if you're unable to open them up or they're perhaps disabled through the local group policy editor or through the registry, rather than going through and manually undoing that, you could just click on it right here and it should open it up directly. So definitely a nice feature there, guys. So pretty straightforward process. I do like this utility. It's pretty straightforward and easy to use. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do buzz, it will help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.